Chrome has a great set of developer tools to help you understand and debug your HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick overview of the tools that are available, and I'll cover some of the tools in more depth in later videos. Browsers add new developer features fairly often, so make sure you have the most up-to-date version of the browser if you want to take full advantage of all the tools. That also means that you may see some differences between mine and the ones that you have in your browser, because things can change quickly. I'm just going to use a very simple HTML page as an example. So you can see here, I've got that open. So I've got a title, I've got uh, the head, I've got some style in the head and in the body, I've got a heading as well as a paragraph that has an ID. And that's about it. To open the developer tools in Chrome, go to view developer, and I'm going to choose developer tools. And that opens me up into the elements tab. So first, I'm going to talk just a briefly about these two tools, and then we'll start discussing the various tabs. This tool on the left hand side is a selection tool, and it allows you to select an item in the page, which will highlight that item in the elements tab. So this is a good way to figure out what part of your page, what content in your page corresponds to what element in the DOM. And so this tool, this selection tool comes in very handy if you are trying to understand your page layout and figure out what elements are coming from where in the page. This second icon is to toggle into device mode. And so this comes in handy when you are testing your page in for different devices. So if you have different media queries, for instance, in your CSS that you want to test in different devices, this is a good way to try that out before you actually test on the devices themselves. So if you click that, you'll see that I'm now in mobile emulation mode and I can choose which device I want to test on. So for example, I can switch over to iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 plus and so on. So I'm going to switch back to regular mode so we can talk about the different tabs. The elements tab is where you can see the DOM, the document object model that is constructed by the browser when it loads the HTML and CSS that it reads from your HTML file into the browser. This represents the objects that the browser has created as it processes your page. Some of the sections of the document are collapsed. So for instance, I can twirl this little arrow and see the full head or twirl it back to hide the full head. I can select an element and it'll show me which content that corresponds to in the page. Over here on the right hand side, we see some more details about the page, including the styles. And that includes the computed styles, event listeners, and some other items like DOM breakpoints and properties as well. So the elements tab is an incredibly useful tab. You can change the size of the panels just by dragging this across and you'll see the menus appear across the top as you do that. The next tab over is the console tab, and this is where you can interact with your page using JavaScript or test out my JavaScript code here. The next tab is the sources tab, and this is very handy as it's where you can look at the source of your page. So you can access that. And this is where you can set breakpoints to test your JavaScript code, look at call stacks for functions, look at the scope of functions and a lot more. When you first load this, you might see the panel looking more like this with the two side panels hidden and no code selected in the bottom. If you do, just open the side panel and select the file for which you want to see the sources. And then if you want to see the details about the call stack and the breakpoints and so on, you can open that the side panel on the right. And I'll go into a lot more detail about how to use the sources panel to test your JavaScript code in a later video. The network panel is where you can take a look at the network activity when you load a page. You can see the assets that are loaded along with your page, like images, scripts, and so on, and how long every asset takes to load. There's a ton of information here, so I won't go into too many details, but needless to say, this is a great way to analyze your page, especially if your page has taken a long time to load. The timeline tab is an amazing tool that lets you analyze the performance of your page in great detail. On this panel, you can start recording and then perform an action like load the page 
or interact with the page in some way. And when you're finished, you're shown a timeline that displays function calls, events, and so on along this timeline. So you can see exactly what happened when and when the and how long the code took to run. And you can even zoom into the timeline quite a bit. So, so I can look at what happened when I loaded the page or interacted with the page in very close detail. The Profiles panel is another way to assess the performance of your page, looking at where your JavaScript code is spending the most of its time and how the memory in your page is allocated. Resources. The Resources panel is where you'll find information about resources used by your page. For instance, web storage, cookies, and a lot more. If you've read Headfirst HTML5 programming, then you'll be familiar with this panel as we used it to inspect the local storage data that we created. And this page doesn't have any, so that's why you're not seeing any here. The security panel is a very recent addition to the Chrome Developer Tools and is part of Google's security strategy for the browser. You may have noticed other security features Chrome has been implementing in the past couple of years, including restricting access to web services data to sites without valid certificates and preferring sites using HTTPS, and even including deprecating certain JavaScript calls from sites without HTTPS. So the security panel can help you determine the security for the resources your page loads, which is particularly important for mixed content, that is page content that requires resources from different sources. In my case, this page is not considered secure because I am loading it from my local web server, not using HTTPS, so I don't have a valid certificate, and that's why the page is not secure. Finally, the audits panel analyzes your page as it loads and can make suggestions about how you can improve the page to decrease the page load time and increase performance. And this is a good way to get started understanding how to improve your page. Now, if your page is too narrow, that is, if you have it scooted over like this, you might see this little arrow menu pop up. And that is where you'll find the panels that become hidden if the page is a little bit too narrow. If you open it up and expand it, you'll see those appear and the little arrow menu goes away. The other thing about these uh, panels here is that you can reorder them. So if you prefer to have them in a different order, then you can easily just drag them around like this. One more thing that I want to show you is the tools that allow you to move the developer tools console from the bottom to the side of the browser or into a completely separate window. And that is hidden under this little uh, menu option right here on the right. So right now I have the developer tools at the bottom. So if I want to dock them to the side of the page instead, I can click here and it moves all those tools up to the right side of the page, which some people prefer. And again, you can see that that puts a lot of those panels hidden under underneath this menu right here. Now you can also move the developer tools completely out of the browser window by clicking this option here. And now I have a completely separate window for the developer tools. I tend to like to keep mine on the bottom, but that's just my personal preference. Finally, I wanted to sh also show you an option to show or hide the console in panels other than the main console panel. So you can always get to the JavaScript console by clicking on the console panel tab here. But let's say you want to have a console option to interact with JavaScript while you're looking at the DOM in the Elements tab. Well, there's an option to do that in here called Show Console, and that'll pop that uh, console up in this panel so you can interact with the page using JavaScript while you're looking at the DOM. And the shortcut for this quick console is the Escape key. So if I just hit Escape and Escape, it shows and hides that console panel. There are a few more tools here in this menu. As you can see, the developer toolset in Chrome is extensive, giving you many options to debug, test, and experiment with your pages. Mm -hmm.